Hi, I'm Daniel from Nordisk. I'd like to show you a few tips on how to pitch your camp the best Nordisk way possible. First, you find a nice flat spot. You make sure it's free of small sticks, cones, rocks, whatever is in the way. You don't want to be lying on those. So, once you've cleaned your spot, you go to the corner and you unpack your tent. For how to see on pitching the different tents we have, we have separate videos for that on our YouTube channel. When you unpack the tent, make sure you store your pack sack somewhere where you can find it again. Put it under a rock or in your pocket, somewhere where it's easy access. Then you unroll the tent. So, if it's a windy day, make sure that your tent front is facing the wind. This way, the stability of the tent will be the best. Also, put something heavy under the tent, on the tent, so it won't blow away. And then, you simply unfold the tent, pack down the ends, then you take out your poles, and they have a color for each color-coded channel that is on the tent. The reason you want your tent facing the wind is that this is its strongest angle. So when the wind is pressing on the tent from the front, it applies all the pressure backwards and outwards. This means that if the pole breaks and they are designed to break before the tent does, they break hopefully outside the tunnel. Also, if the wind is coming from the side, this will apply pressure. And this could break the pole inside the tunnel. This you don't want. In case the wind changes during the night, and comes from the sides, it could be necessary to go out and turn your tent. This will help it be the strongest way facing the wind again. To help your tent standing the best way in the wind, you have your guy lines. You attach them to the ground and you tighten them. Don't over tighten them because that will open up the stitchings and put on too much pressure on the tent if the wind comes. It needs a little bit of flexibility and then you can go out and tighten them again in case that's necessary. One thing you want to avoid when you're out is condensation. Condensation is water sitting on the inside of the fly sheet. This can be prevented by increasing ventilation. So the more ventilation you can create, the less condensation you will have. You can also prevent condensation with a footprint. This will cover the whole ground of the tent. And the reason it helps is that the vaporization from the ground will not go up under the tent, but under the footprint. If you have a lightweight tent, you can often experience that ventilation has been sacrificed due to weight. You can help out the tent by putting in a stick to lift up the skirt and create more ventilation, or step down the grass that is covering the ventilation from the ground. This will reduce your condensation a lot.